Morning everybody, how you doing? Hey, my name is Dennis Nelson. I am officially with Green Lake Vapor. However, today we're going to do a video on making the Seattle Bobber. And uh, it's a really cool thing if you're an angler and uh, you get into those troubled areas where you've got lots of stumps in the water and you're tired of losing all your gear. I'm guilty. You want a good bobber. And um, I've used a lot of traditional bobbers that are on the market. Uh, you have a lot of called a lot of them that are called the quick snaps, and I hate the quick snaps. They're more of a pain in the ass than anything to use. Uh, however, um, a lot of people will use a standard bobber, and they will weight the line down. And what happens is when you cast that out, you got the weights. You know, if you're using a, a slide weight, which is this guy, that's going to slide up and down your line and then your line's backlashing back and forth. And so when you have your six foot long or eight foot long leader, when you reel it back in, you've got about three to four feet and you've got a clusterfuck of line. <clears throat> so a couple weeks ago, I'm fishing a, a, one of my favorite lakes called Holler Lake here in Seattle. And uh, these guys from uh, Bosnia were there and they gave me this really cool, uh, I mean, we're talking a large egg, it's probably about yay big around. And uh, he said, here, try this. And I thought, man, this is pretty cool. And I took that thing and I casted it. I got probably double, if not triple the distance in my casting uh, with the egg, which is really cool. The other part is when I reeled my line back in, I didn't have any snarls. Uh, you don't have to use a weight with it. So, I have been out head hunting. Actually, I gotta finish this story. Uh, three days ago, I'm fishing at my favorite lake, and we got this thing called the cedar tree that overhangs the lake during, in our uh, casting area. And uh, I casted, and sure as shit, it got stuck in that tree. And, actually, it's in that tree right now. <laughs> so, I went up to uh, Hobby Lobby and I got a 10 pack of what's called Easter eggs. Uh, basically two part Easter eggs. Looks like this. Pops open. It's pretty cool. So <clears throat> I was like, well, there's gotta be a way that we can do this. And uh, I've gotta be able to make this egg. So I took a, uh, uh, four, uh, six quart uh, bucket and I filled it up with uh, two quarts of water and I took the egg and I well actually I took this egg and I dropped it in there once the holes are filled and I put a weight in there and I found that with a three-quarter slider weight it just barely will stay above the water line or the edge of the egg so I was like, okay, well, we got step one. So what type of metal are they using? Because you, you got to run metal through the egg to make it happen. And uh, I was like, well, crap, I got a little bicycle outside. So I went out and I snipped the spokes. That's a bike spoke, clipped it. And uh, my creative mind started flowing and I was like, well, okay, how do we put this all together now? How do we get a seal? And what I got was a can of great stuff, fiber foam, you know, foam in a can. And I dropped, here, I'll show you this way. This is a pre-done one. Here's your slider weight. So slider weights inside and I filled that up with fiber foam to the top and then I took a, a, a swizzle stick for coffee and I knocked off all the edges and I took this part, top part, doop, and I harpoon it through and then I put a very small amount inside here uh, on the top area. And then we're going to take the egg, 
I'm going to close it down and then I'm going to get into more of this. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to fiber fill this. So basically Easter egg, bicycle spoke, and a three-quarter weight, three-quarter slider. You can actually use anything that you want, it, it, just as long as it keeps uh, your water from going over the water line on the egg uh, when you do a test float. So I'm gonna take a vape here. So uh, I'd love to hear comments from you guys. Ah, excuse me. Uh, I'd love to hear comments and suggestions and you know what you think is cool, what you think is not. I'm gonna take a vape here and then I'm gonna do a little rearrangement with the camera a little bit and we'll get going on how to make this. Okay, so give me a second here. Let me reposition all this. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Okay, so first part, I'm going to show you what I do to make the crimps. So again, this is the bike egg, and we're going to go like so. So as you can see, I've just got like a, a little tit hanging out. And I'm going to roll it. And we're going to roll it again. Okay, so you can see how that is. That's like an eye hook. And I'm going to show you how to close this. So we're going to take our dikes, wire cutters to others, dikes to me. And I'm going to clip it so that it's actually straight. That gives you a nice flat edge to work with right here. We're going to take a barrel swivel. Put the barrel swivel in. Just like so. We're going to roll this again. You want to make sure it's straight though when you go to roll it. Crunch. Okay, just like so. Now, a lot of people are like, hey, what about the little air hole there? So what I did is I got a solder gun, and I got Rossi Core solder, and I let that solder gun heat up nice and hot, and then I put a heavy, heavy bead of solder uh, with Rossi Core on the tip, and then I feed it back and forth on both sides until that, that little portion is actually sealed. Now, depending on the type of uh, metal that you're using from the bike spoke, like me, or coat hanger, which I've got one of those too, uh, it, it might be a little bit more difficult. But every metal has a different uh, point of adherence to the solder. So anyhow, this is step one. Um, we're going to take and we're going to put a little harpoon on this, this little edge. And, oops, as you see now, it's got a tip on there. No, well, my phone's pretty crappy, but you got a tip on here. So with that tip, on this Easter egg, it's got a little indent hole there. So I'm going to force this through, just like so. See how that goes? I'm going to take the top half and I'm going to go through the top as well. There. Let's see. There we go. All right. So now we got that. I'm going to pull that off. We're going to save that for later. Now we're going to take our little slider. Boop. I'm going to slide that on. Okay. So now you got your weight in there. We got our slider. Okay, here comes the fun part. Now, we are going to start filling this. And uh, let me double check. I got, I got to get twizzle sticks. Hold with me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. 
Dennis, what's a twizzle stick? These are twizzle sticks. Coffee sticks. Okay, so got my handy dandy cardboard box here because it's going to make a mess. We're going to peel this apart here. So, unlike other YouTube videos that are scripted, there's no script on this, man. So, this is a live as it happens, so to say. So, now take completed Easter egg. We'll put this over here. Now, we'll get going here a little bit more. And you want to make sure that you have another barrel swivel sitting on the side ready to go. So now we got our handy unit here. We are going to take our great stuff for gaps and cracks. Okay, now if you want to use the little uh, air stick that comes with it, you go right ahead. I don't like those. Um, so, let me shake that up a little bit. And we're going to fill, actually we're going to take this back off for a second. Make sure that we can do this for prosperity. All right, so <laughs> eggs are in the way. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can get this filled up for you. Okay, so now you see we got our fiber foam in there, or whatever you want to call it. Great stuff, I call it fiber foam. So we're going to mush this down a little bit. The other thing to remember, too, is that as this fiber foam dries, it actually expands and it makes a horrendous mess. So you're like, Dennis, how do you get the the eggs to stay together after you've already got them, it, you know, put together. Then you take your fiber foam and we run a, a bead over the edge with our little uh, coffee stick here, which is what I'm doing right now. This shit's super sticky. It acts as a great glue. Okay, so we're going to set this to the side just for a moment. Let me see if I get something I can prop it on. Prop that right there for the second, or for the moment. Okay, now we are going to take egg number two. And we're going to lightly fill See how that is? That's just a dab in there. Now, my reason behind my madness on this one is because these eggs in particular have holes in the top and I don't uh, and I'm not talking the two holes that I just made they've got actually two little water holes in there so anyhow there's that I'm gonna take this we're gonna close it down the fun part is finding the hole and I just thought of one of those jokes about the hole, so you don't have to tell me about it. Okay, now we're gonna pop it. Okay, so now we're gonna close this down. This is where it can get very messy. Yeah, there it goes. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now you got your eggs stuck together. Let me give myself a second here. Hang it like so for the minute, for the moment. So, see my fingers? You got gooeys on them. Give me a second, I'll be right back. You can look at the Easter eggs or whatever. Like I say, none of this is uh, 
None of this is scripted, so you never know what you're going to get on here. So, coming back, we're back. Okay, now we got the foam, and I'm going to trade. I'm going to trade. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you? There you are. <laughs> you guys probably just hate the hell out of me right now. Yeah, this is not a professional angler video put together. Uh, so, anyhow, um, I'm going to take a vape here. I've got a couple lakes up here that I like to fish. I fish Green Lake, and I fish Holler Lake, Bitter Lake, Echo Lake, um, Sir, Lake Serene, Martha Lake, and Silver Lake. So I'm gonna take another puff for those of you that are in vapor mode. Get your vape on. I'm gonna take a hit. So I was actually using that one of these eggs, actually the uh, the big Easter egg that I had over at Green Lake, and surprisingly enough, I caught a 14 and a half inch uh, rainbow trout over there, which is fucking phenomenal. I loved it. Okay, so yeah, one more puff, and then we're gonna show you how to finish this off here. Okay, so paper towel in hand, just in case you make a mess again. Now, as you see on here, I've got a lot of residue or residual. So I'm gonna first try to wipe some of it off. Now remember, fiber foam, or great stuff, whichever you wanna call it, is extremely sticky. And I'm going to have to put a little bit more of a dab. Let's notice my, one of my air pockets opened up on this. So the nice thing about the fiber foam is that you can go back later. If you've made a mess on the eggs, you can take a razor blade and it'll actually just flake right off. Okay, so <clears throat> now comes... Oops. Hold on. Got my pliers. Now comes the fun part. Needle nose pliers. And <clears throat> we're going to take the dikes. We're going to trim this down a little bit. So, ready? And you're going to see this live. One, two, three. Bing! All right, that went flying off. So, where my other pliers go? There they are. Okay, this is where the normal pliers come in. We're gonna slide that back up. You know, hold it right here. Now, as you can see, have some space there. We're gonna bend this by hand, and then we're gonna take it down. So you can see it. So I got like a J hook on there. So I'm gonna let that go. See how it's kind of J hooked? Okay, so next step. Oh, don't need that yet. Um, I've got to roughly calculate how this is going to go. And there they are. Dikes. Dikes. So we are going to trim just below the egg again, just like so. And now we're, we're in the final stages. Okay, so we're gonna put our, our swivel barrel on there. And now we're gonna hold tight Find a spot where we can hold tight at. I'm going to start rolling this in. Slide the barrel a little bit more. Uh, 
Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, so now you'll see we are clipped. Now, for my fun part, I've got to make sure that this is set right. Put a little, oh, I got my fiber foam on there. Okay, we're gonna tweak this just a little bit back and forth, make sure it's snug. And so again, you're gonna have an air gap in here from tweaking it. Um, and, and again, when you use Rossi core solder, and, and I say Rossi core, now if you get just standard solder, get a little tub of Rossi core. You, you know, you get the, uh, it's a little canister. Uh, you know, wire brush this down and, you know, just lightly wire brush and then apply the Rossi core on there and then you can hit it with the solder and that will let it hit or uh, stick. So now we actually have the Seattle bobber. So Seattle Easter egg bobber and it'll swivel. So again, there it is. So, like I said, I got the Easter eggs. I got a 10-pack up at Hobby Lobby. They were normally $10. They were on sale for $0.10 cents for the whole thing. The whole thing was $0.10. Cents. Okay, so that's how we do that. You have just literally walked through uh, on how many minutes? Uh, 21 minutes and 45 seconds. Basically, it would have taken you 10 minutes to build this. Uh, now, the only other thing that I say that you got to do is you need to let that cure. Um, fiber foam or great stuff um, you know the initial setup time is about you know, usually about 15 20 minutes um, for a full cure though it's gonna be about 24 hours but this is fun so now you've got a basically you've got a three-quarter ounce weight inside an Easter egg with your swivels and you know your barrel swivels and again this is going to allow you to cast further out um, less snakes and snarls uh, and it's just a blast. So, you know, if you're an angler, if you're going after trout or, you know, whatever you're going after, you can use the larger uh, Easter eggs and add more weight in there to get more distance if you want. But this is just something that I thought was cool and I wanted to share it with all of you out there. So, thank you for coming to my channel. Um, if you're in Seattle, swing by Green Lake Vapor, come say hi. I will be here seven days a week, uh, 365 days a year. <laughs> So, to everybody out there, have a vape on me.